this video is something that has been requested so much and I never thought that this would like ever be requested. I didn't really think that many people cared, but a lot of people care. So this video is going to be talking about how I care for my praying mantis. So many people have asked me to like do praying mantis videos, do a care guide, make videos about it, you know, all, all that stuff. For a bug. Like, I never thought people would care about my pet bug so much, but literally, I get asked nonstop to do videos for my mantis, so that is what we are doing today. We're doing video for my mantis. A couple months back, I went to a reptile expo and I picked up a couple things, one of them being an orchid mantis. Literally since then, people have been asking me so much to do a care guide on them, and my reply to most people was always the same. It was that I will do one, but not right now. People asked me like the day I got him, they were like, do a care guide on it. And like, obviously before I got him, I did some research, like I researched their care so that I knew what I was doing, but I didn't want to go and just like, Tell you guys what I read off the internet. I want to have like personal experience with owning a mantis before I tell you guys how to or like you know what I mean like I wanted personal experience before I gave you guys any really information. I wanted to learn for myself and not just read stuff off the internet. So that being said I've had him for a few months now so I feel pretty confident in my experience. I you know you know what I'm trying to say. I feel like I've owned him for long enough now that I've learned quite a bit about him and yeah. So all of that being said, let's start talking about him. So this here is my mantis's enclosure. It's a little three gallon enclosure that is often used for bugs. I mean, I don't really know what else you could put in one this small, but yeah. So yeah, the first thing I told you, I used this three gallon terrarium here for my orchid mantis. Although this is quite big for a little mantis, you don't need something this big. You could definitely go with something smaller. A lot of people will keep mantises in like plastic containers or, you know, I don't know. It doesn't need to be this big. Ultimately though, you do want something taller rather than wide because they spend most of their time up in the little plants and branches you provide them for. They like to go up and not so much across. So regardless of what you choose to use, make sure it is tall rather than long. Like this. From my experience owning a mantis, it is super easy pet to take care of. I don't have any additional heating or anything like that, but that being said, my room does get quite warm. When you own like 20 reptiles and have like two fish tanks in your room, it heats up a lot. He doesn't have any additional heating, but if you were going to get one and your room gets a bit cooler, I would definitely provide like a little heat pad somewhere so that there's a warm area. But me living in the rainforest here, I don't need one. They do like a fair bit of humidity, so that is why I have Eco Earth as the substrate. Eco Earth, I can't talk. Eco Earth, her. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Eco Earth, this stuff. I'm just gonna say this stuff. This stuff holds humidity quite well, so it is a good option, and it's very like natural looking. It's like dirt kind of. So yeah, something like Ego Earth is a good option for a praying mantis substrate wise. And then of course, other things that are gonna go in the enclosure will be things for them to climb on. I have some branches and some fake flowers. I got all of these mostly at Michael's, like the craft store. I just went and got some fake plants there because they're really cheap. They're like two bucks or whatever, so I got those and I use them in here and then my mantis can climb on them and stuff like that. As long as your mantis has lots of stuff to climb on, it's really going to be happy. Like they don't need a whole lot. You don't need a water dish or anything. They're not going they're not going to drink out of a bowl. In order to give them water, you're going to want to like miss there. I always just take take the top off and then I spray inside. I don't know how else to tell you how to miss. Just missed it. I do it once a day. This helps to provide humidity and water for them to drink. Daily misting is basically what I do. Bite-wise, it's pretty simple. It eats only flightless fruit flies. Some bigger mantises and stuff will eat things like crickets, but he is a little tiny mantis, so he just eats fruit flies. Like, honestly, I, 
I don't even really know what else to say. Like their care is really super simple. You just need a tall enclosure with some branches and plants and stuff. You need to mist it like daily feed them fruit flies. But that being said, they are super cool pets. I think he is one of my most interesting pets. He's just very different from anything else a lot of people know. Like, whenever people find out that I have a pet bug, they're, they're, they're pretty fascinated. So, they're definitely super cool to own. And like I said, easy to care for. You see him there? Is he like blending in with the flowers? In my opinion though, one big downside to praying mantises as pets is that they don't live long at all. And typically they only live like four to eight months, sometimes maybe a little longer, but usually like four to eight months is normal. Sometimes maybe a little longer, but four to eight months is pretty normal for them, so you won't really get to keep them that long, which in my opinion I don't like. I wish I could keep it longer. It's kind of sad to only have a pet for like five months, but Either way, they're really cool. Maybe maybe you don't want a long commitment pet, and in that sense, a praying mantis would be cool for you because it's not a long commitment. But personally, me, I wish they lived longer because I love my little dude, and I wanna always have my little dude, but he likes to jump around. Yeah, so for me, that's the downside that they don't live that long, but if you are someone looking for like a short commitment animal, it's definitely a cool option. I think they're great either way. I mean, who doesn't want a pet bug that looks like a flower? that's all I have to say about owning them as pets. Like I said, their care is just so simple. Like I don't really know what else to say about them. They make super easy pets. They're super cool. And I mean, just why wouldn't you want one? But really, that is all I have to say. I don't know what else to really say about them other than that they are super cool little dudes. So all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully those of you who were interested in learning more about mantises got to learn a little bit about them. He just loves jumping all over the place. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Um, hit the bell button to turn on notifications so that you know whenever I post. Also, check out my social media. I will have everything in the description below. And yeah, I guess guess that's all I have to say. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.